So, as you can see, here are the wires that go down to that ABS sensor. And uh, we've done split those right off, and I don't know where in the heck the other part even went, but it's definitely missing. So I ordered offline several different uh, ABS Nissan front wheel adapters, and they all sucked. They all sucked. I finally called a friend of mine who's in the automotive business. He said, it's going to cost you more than $7, Brian, but uh, I got the stuff you need. And so he's going to hook me up with a few kits. So if you need a kit to replace either left or right, because the kit includes both left and right front sensors, so you have an extra, go ahead and click the link down below and uh, show you how to get one of those for yourself. You're going to spend more than 6 bucks, but you're going to get the right ones. So with that being said, let's get the uh, new piece. Let's go ahead and get some butt-end connectors on this. Let's get this all put back together real quick here. All right, so after we got done replacing that lower ball joint, we accidentally broke the uh, connector like I just showed you. And you can see we have an ABS light on and a slip light on. So we need to get rid of that. So we'll get underneath there and we'll put that new connector on. And then we'll get in here and I'll show you how to take all that off. So now what I've done is I've hooked up our new connector down there, the male and the female. And I've connected both a uh, red and black alligator clips. So we can make sure that we clicked all those back together just right. So I found that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and test out each one of those lines. And depending on, as you can see, let me see if I can uh, clearly show you here. So coming out, that being the bottom, that being the top. Kind of get the orientation there. The wire on the left is up to the red wire. And the red one... And the red, that left wire, comes over here to the brown wire. And, of course, then the right wire, black lead, comes back over here to the green one. So let's go ahead and get those put back together real quick. So we have ourselves some of these red butt connectors. We're just going to put them on both of the ends up here. And then we'll take the other side of our adapter and we'll get these plugged into here. Okay, we'll get that other one done now. Cool. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get some heat shrink to put on those. Let me grab those real quick. Now, you can buy this. I'll have a link down below as well. And, yes, you'll probably make me a nickel if you hit the link and you buy off of Amazon. But I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and take a few pieces of this. I'm going to slide them down and over on our connector side. There we go. We just cut these two little strips. And you can see they're hollow. And we're going to take a lighter and we'll make these shrink up and help protect everything. Now we know the red one goes to the brown one. So let's go ahead and disconnect this. Take that off for a minute here. I'm going to take that heat shrink. I'm going to slide it down on there. Like so. Okay, now... I'm going to butt this up into the brown one and crimp it down. Okay. Make sure everything is slide in. Crimp it. Give it a little tug just to make sure. All right, now this top one we know is the other one. So we'll reach back here, take off our black lead. Go ahead and get our insulation, our heat shrink, put it down on this one. Come back up here to the green one. Slide that in. Good contact. Whoop. Give myself a little more of that. Oh. 
Okay, I'm going to slide this in. I'll crimp that down. All right, good. Tug on it, tug on it. Now, before you heat shrink, let's go inside and let's test it and clear the codes. So we made the connection, we got everything fixed up. Let's start this up real quick here. And you'll find that, yep, those damn lights are still on because you gotta tell the computer that you fixed it. It doesn't realize it's been fixed. So, shut this car back off and we're gonna grab my Foxwell scanner. Now, if you do not have a scanner, or if you want a scanner that also resets ABS modules, get this, link down below, and yeah, it will make me a dollar, but oh well, come on. So, open this up. Open this up. There's our scanner, and we'll need the cable. And I'll get this hooked up for us. Now, the connector for your Titan, for the obd2 sensors right underneath there go ahead and plug that in we'll come back up here to the module I'll show you how easy this is all right we've plugged it in we're going to go over here to auto vin hit the ok button go ahead and tell it to do an auto vin check it will go ahead and look up our vin number for us and there she is we'll hit the f3 button nissan we'll hit ok on that one that's going to load the data we're going to wait here a second and yep, that is correct. So we're gonna go over to OK, hit OK. Now quick scan or control modules. We're gonna go down to control modules. We're gonna hit OK. Now ABS, so down to ABS we go. We're gonna hit that OK button. It's gonna load the data for us. Give it a minute here to do its thing. Now it does take a minute or two to load all that data. So just give it some patience. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna read the code. And as you can see, the front left-hand sensor is not working. So we know this already. So we're going to back out. We're going to go down to clear codes. Hit OK. It says ignition is on, but the engine is not running. That is correct. Yes. We're going to hit F3. And are you sure? F3. And that's going to load our data. Codes are cleared. Hit F3. We're done. So we're going to turn the ignition off, and we're going to pull out our unit. Okay, we pulled our ABS checker out. I'm going to turn it back on. And you can see the lights went off. We did it. Job well done. Another Nissan Titan video. Woohoo! Thanks for watching, guys.